Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The planning of attacks against the mobile targets is highly dynamic and time critical as the time duration available for targeting is extremely small. It is therefore essential to drastically reduce the sensor to shoot time through improved situational awareness along the frontiers and in insurgent afflicted regions. The need of our is to provide near real-time intelligence inputs to the decision makers. Intelligence, Surveillance, Targeting and Reconnaissance iStar system provides such dynamic and time-critical targeting capability and contributes significantly to meet the nation's security goals. The iStar system links several battlefield functions together to assist a combat force in employing its sensors and managing the information which they gather. The information gathered using very high performance sensor in addition to the deployed human resources. Talking about the iStar system used worldwide which includes Sentinel of UK, JSTAR of USA, Shadow R1 of UK, ISR MMA of Israel etc. These ISTAR acts as element in the net-centric warfare. As AWOX provide air-to-air -air and air-to-sea surveillance, the ISTAR complements AWOX role by providing air-to-ground surveillance to aid in precision strikes. The Indian ISTAR program is going to be a cutting-edge technology in support of precision strike. The program has gained momentum aftermath of the Balakot airstrike by India or Pakistan. The iStar system can intercept enemy signals and instruct the ground commander which weapon to be used for counter-offensive strike and exact time of launch of weapon for high precision strike. The aircraft maintains a two-way feed with all reconnaissance platforms which includes satellites, aircrafts, UAV, helicopters, and Army's ground reconnaissance vehicles. It can also detect these recce platforms to change position for better results. The Center for Airborne System CAPS of DRDO is leading the development of iStar platform. The role of iStar system will be carrying out intelligence gathering, surveillance, reconnaissance and targeting by day and night. The iStar system will be operated at very high altitudes from large standoff ranges and will be used for intelligence processing, exploitation and dissemination and generation of common operating picture. The iStar aircraft will be simultaneously networked with airborne network, ground-based network and command and control network. The iStar aircraft will be a system of systems that comprise airborne and ground segments. The airborne segment comprise of mission systems such as AAC-based synthetic aperture radar or a ground moving target indicator, electronic intelligence and communication intelligence, electro-optical or IR imagery sensors, communication data links in wide line of sight, beyond line of sight and very ultra high frequency links and self protection suite the development of indian i stars radar electronic intelligence communication intelligence and other sensors has already been started by drdo's caps the team has very rich experience in developing netra awnc airborne system which has been now split into two expanded teams for iStar and Netra Math 2 program. The defense journalist Anand Krishnan M has also shared few important updates related to the iStar development. The Indian Air Force has put up a case for development of iStar under DRDO and it is now awaiting Ministry of Defense approval. Meanwhile, considerable work has already been done by CAPS in development of air to ground surveillance systems to be used in iStar. Once the funding approval is given by Ministry of Defense, the iStar platform can be developed in five years' timeline. The DRDO's iStar will be based on a business jet platform 
which will have very high service ceiling and the selection will be based on global tendering after the approval from defense acquisition council drdo will initiate the process of global tendering for the acquisition of the platform the platform for isr is most likely going to be based on bombardier global express business jet a separate procurement of four jets will be done as the program matures drdo has planned to develop three i star for air force and one for ntro the i star will feature very advanced sensor in terms of the resolution and ranges multiple sensors which are planned to be integrated with i star includes hyper converge infrastructure sci on enterprise level hardware for airborne operation long range high resolution sar gmti system multi spectral eoir or lorop sensors geospatial intelligence processing and exploitation suite high data rate line of sight and satcom data link onboard mission communication suite ai ml based image intelligence for automatic target recognition change detection and common operational picture this was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector